Hello friends! I am actually prepping for another video and thought it might just be fun to do my nail care slash like manicure prep with you. So I haven't actually done one of these in a while but I painted my nails. I think it was... when was this? This was... Wednesday night Wednesday night and it is now Monday this is China Glaze Surfside Skies so they've grown out a little bit and I have a lot of dryness I have not been moisturizing so I'm just going to use these little um lint free squares and I'm using the Zoya Remove Plus right now and honestly it's got a really heavy smell that I do not enjoy if I'm in kind of a hurry, I will use these clips and just like let them soak it. Even if it's a cream polish, I will just put on the stuff and let this soak. And then by the time I get back around to that nail, it's usually penetrated enough to where I can just pull it off. So I use these clips for pretty much every manicure. It's just a lot easier and a lot faster, and you don't have to sit there and like rub around your nail, so polish won't get everywhere. Anything that I am using will be linked in the description box below. Most of it is on my Amazon storefront. That is an affiliate link, so anything on my Amazon store is stuff that I love and use all the time, which is always linked down below. And then I also have specific links to some things down below. Um, I haven't updated them in a while, so let me know if they're still working and they're still okay, but anything I have linked, um, with specific links, some of them are my Amazon links and some of them are just links to the actual website, which is not a, um, affiliate link. So either way, just letting you know, everything will be linked down below. Some of those links will be, um, giving me a little bit of a commission, just for my expertise and recommendation. The next step is going to be cuticle remover. I just have this empty polish bottle that I put mine in and labeled it forever ago. This is the Blue Cross. I think it's linked in my Amazon. I don't love it and I don't think that it's cruelty free, but I have literally had this bottle for seven years, I think maybe. So, um, that's why I'm still using it. I really like the London Town cuticle remover. It's really nice and I feel like it doesn't dry out your cuticles. Um, so check that one out, but I'm just trying to pump through this bottle. I don't do the cuticle remover part every manicure. I only do this maybe like once a week. So it's taking me a while to get through that big hunkin' bottle. So for the cuticle remover, you can use the metal stick that I'm using or you can use an orange stick. This will probably be a little bit um, less harsh or ability to be harsh on your nails but this is just to get all of that dead skin off your nail plate so that the polish has a better surface to stick to and basically I'm just getting like the sides and all of that dead skin and then I'm doing like little circle-y kind of motions to get down near um the bottom of my nail and I am being very gentle and just like moving it around I know it probably looks a little aggressive but and just moving around to try to peel up any of that dead skin and the cuticle remover in the bottle just helps to soften that so you can get it off of your nail I like to go in with the orange stick and just get all of the gook out. I know the metal stick has like another side but that other side is pretty sharp and so I just go in and like move that all around and make sure it's not getting stuck. And 
then I use another one of those lint free wipes and some polish remover and just get all that off my nail and make sure I kind of like get into that little cuticle area there usually the next thing I would do is file but I don't really need to do that right now um, so I'm gonna move on to the next step if you do want to see how I file my nails I've done other nail care videos I will try to link some down below so that you can see but basically the next thing that I'm doing is just getting any um, dead skin I'm not cutting live skin do not cut your live skin that's how you'll get infections um, but I am just cutting off any dead skin that just is a mess which has been a lot lately since um, lots of hand washing and hand sanitizer and such so and also I'm terrible at moisturizing so don't follow me for that but um, yeah I'm just gonna go around and cut off any dead skin or anything that I see and then it will finally be time for me to paint my nails so let's just finish this little bit up okay so at this point we would have removed the polish we would have removed the cuticle um like dead skin and then filed i didn't need to file this time and then we would have taken off some of that dead skin so i'm just making sure that all of that stuff is off of my nail once more and then this is when i would go in with polish i have tons of videos on how i paint my nails so if you want to see those they will be on the channel but yes i'm going to go into filming another video i hope that you all enjoyed just a quick little rundown of how i do my prep before i do my manicures and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching